Hey guys, welcome back to Honest Product Review. In today's video, guys, we're going to compare two battery testers. Okay, the difference between those is one is about twice, even more than twice more expensive than the other one. Okay, this one is by Top Down, right here. Uh, you, you can find the links and the more information in the description of the video. This one is the inexpensive battery tester analyzer. And this one is the expensive one made, uh, okay, this one is made by Foxwell. So, this one is quite more expensive than the other one. And we're going to go ahead, put them to the test and see what readings we'll get from both of them and see if they differ. So, let's see how they work now. The Foxwell jump starter comes with a really good case, so that's a big advantage. Uh, and it has longer, longer cables. That's another one if you're looking for. So we're going to go ahead and put it to the test now and see how both differ. So what we have to do now, okay, we need to connect the, uh, the battery analyzer, okay, to the car battery. So we need to connect the positive terminal with the red wire, negative with the black. It's going to light up, okay. So let's see now what it says, 12.09 volts, 12 volt system. Okay, this is in vehicle test. Top post battery, regular. We'll be using code cranking amps. And this battery is rated at 500. So we need to select 500 now. Okay. Now it's going to analyze and tell us how much juice we have. 430 out of 500. Now, the good thing about this one is you can te test the charging system as well, but we're not going to do that yet. And this is because we don't want to uh, start the car because we'll use some juice from the battery. So we want to see what the other one will show first and then we'll check the charging system of the car with each one of them. Okay, so this is the little scanner right here. So you can see 0.1 volt difference. This one says 12.22, the other one says 12. 0.09 so in vehicle test before charge regular flooded okay let's select 500 amps on this one as well it's going to test and let us know okay 420 so far you can see both of them are really close one was 430 one was 420 so uh, so far not bad at all. Now, we're going to go ahead and test the charging system. Okay, cranking test. So let's start the engine now and we'll see what it's going to tell us. It tests the starter, the cranking power of the vehicle, how long it took to start. Okay, RPM detected. So now it's testing. Cranking normal. Okay, you can see that's the time that it took. Now let's go to charging test. Okay, loaded test, loaded testing. Okay, now it's going to put some load. Okay, let's increase revolutions, give gas. Okay, now it's testing. And for loaded, you can turn, okay, your headlights on or off, okay, you can see now loaded and non loaded. So, you can see everything is normal, charging is normal, uh, loaded is 14.46, non loaded 14.6, so everything is great. Now, let's turn the car off, and we are going to go ahead and test the big scanner and see what it's going to tell us. So you can see... It went down a little bit for 26, that's because we started the car. So now we need to make sure that there is no AC, no headlights or anything like that. This one will be manual load and uh, we'll show you how to do that. Okay, so let's start the engine. Okay, cranking four seconds, 11.7 volts. So the cranking gave difference between 10 and 10.7. Okay, now, cranking is normal, so we'll click enter to continue, that's for the charging test now. Okay, let's give it gas. 
Okay, that's good. Now we need to click enter to continue. Now we just stay like that at idle with loads off. Okay, now it says to go ahead, turn the headlights on and the blower motor on. So let's turn the high beams on. Okay. Okay, perfect. And we click enter. Okay, let's give it gas again. Okay, that's good. Now continue. Now we can turn the engine off. Okay, let's stop the engine. Click enter and that's what we have. No load and loaded. So you can see there is op almost absolutely no difference between the two scanners, guys. So that's pretty close for both of them. This one, however, has a big advantage. If you're a shop, if you own a shop and you want to show all that to your client, all you have to do, connect it with a Bluetooth to your printer or computer, okay, and you can go ahead, okay, and print screen. You can even buy a small printer that they sell. Uh, it's really convenient as well, and it will print a small receipt and it will tell us, uh, you, you can give it to the customer and show all that stuff. So uh, hopefully the video will be helpful, guys, but for something that you will not use so much i would recommend the little one if you're in the professional business get the big one so thank you for watching see you guys next time